look this was always a, this was known to be a scam that dramaya's family was uh, involved in this was a land scam and uh, you know for most people who know what the congress does in karnataka uh, there isn't a person there isn't a congress leader who has not uh, dabbled in this kind of a corrupt land politics and that this is squarely now in the do doorstep and the domain of the chief minister uh, should give uh, a great pause uh, for people to think about what kind of corruption congress has unleashed on karnataka a state where they say they don't have money for development anymore all the reckless promises that were made in the 2023 elections to gain the votes and today you have a situation which is exposing what the congress really stands for which is that at the end of the day they make all these promises during the elections but after elections what they really do is this type of corruption and that it is corruption practiced by the chief minister of a state which is sidramaiah in this particular case so i would appeal to rahul gandhi who otherwise is always talking about various things as he travels around the world including when he went to the us that he should now take a break from all of his great philosophy and ideology and talk about what is the most important thing happening in defining the congress party under his leadership which is corruption and he should speak about the corruption that is today visible in karnataka under the congress government